Hello everyone, it's Marie here from Pebbly Rose Paper Crafting. I'm an independent paper crafter from Sydney, Australia. Thanks for joining me. First and foremost, I want to thank everyone that watched my last video about leaving Stampin' Up. I really appreciate you watching and for your kind comments and words of encouragement and um, and for your understanding too. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I was overwhelmed. I couldn't answer individual comments like I normally do with my videos because there were that many um, but I did read every single one of them and um, I did pin a comment on the top of that of, of all of the comments that I appreciate every single one of you that have commented who have liked who have subscribed as well over um, that video I really appreciate it immensely so thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart I really appreciate it so as promised, uh, my videos will feature quite a bit of Stampin' Up! stuff because as I said before, I have 90% of my crafting supplies uh, Stampin' Up! So I will slowly, slowly introduce different things. Um, but for the moment, I'm actually having fun combining um, stamp sets that were from the past as well as um, today. It's, I think, this year I, I'm really focusing on using what I have. I don't really want to buy any new stuff unless it really catches my eye and it's something I really have to have. So I'm just being really careful with what I buy. Um, and it has to be something that appeals uh, to me and that I know I will use for a long time. So this video today is basically me appreciating what I have. So um, I'm going to make a video with, I'm going to yeah, make a card, sorry with the Painted Poppy stamp set. I think this is a beautiful stamp set uh, and this is one I would buy whether it was Stampin' Up! or not. Uh, basically I love the way this was drawn, I love everything about it so I'm going to use this stamp set. I'm going to dredge up the dictionary background stamp that from e eons ago. I don't know how long ago we had this stamp set and as you can tell the packaging's changed so it's old. Um, but this is I think something that everyone should have in their collection and what's old is new again kind of thing so I'm going to use this gorgeous stamp, background stamp. I'm going to use also um, an oldie but a goodie, gorgeous grunge. Um, this was one of my favourite stamp sets before it retired and then I kind of forgot about it but I love about that it has splatters and it's done so organized <laughs> well not really organized but it's a really nice stamp set so even if you stuff it up you you couldn't even tell so I love the splatters on that and these two but I won't be using those but I, I am going to definitely use the splatters of this one I really love it um, and I'm not big on getting myself messy so I think this is a great way to get around it so if you have it in your stash do bring it out I'm using the painted poppy, uh, sorry, the painted labels dies. These coordinate with this stamp set, which you can find in the current catalogue of Stampin' Up. But use whatever similar ones you have. You don't have to have these ones, that's for sure. And I'm using the Forever Flourishing dies. These are a favourite of mine. I love them. I'm going to use one of these dies. I haven't decided which one. It's between this one here and that one there. I haven't quite figured it out yet. And I'm dredging out as well. I've had this for a really long time. These are the Lifestyle Crafts hexagons, nesting hexagons. There's 15 dies. I'm going to use one of them. I've had this in my collection for many, many years. I think about, I don't know, eight years, nine years. I don't remember anymore. I bought them, you know, a long time ago. And I love the hexagon shape. And, yeah, so I thought I'll just do something a little different. So... What I'm going to use today is some basic grey cardstock. I love this colour a lot. It's a beautiful dark grey. So this is basically half an A4 and I scored it in half again to make an A6 card base. Feel free to use whatever you have on hand, whatever similar. Um, use it. I quite like this. I'm using some scrap uh, Whisper White cardstock and some vellum. So what we're going to do first off is I am going to stamp my images on here to start off with. I'm bringing out the Stamparatus because I like the size. So whether I'm a demo or not, I actually really like the size. It's, um, I think it's 7 by 7 inches. So it's a really good size, good for the big stamps as well as the smaller ones. So I quite like it. 
So I'm going to grab my painted poppies stamp set. I'm going to bring out the two poppies flower images. I'm going to stamp this one a couple of times and also I'm going to stamp with the leaves. I'll do that a couple of times as well. So I'll ink these up in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And I like using my, you know, stamping platform because basically it allows me to get it right the first time. So I don't have to muck around and do it again and again. Especially when there's bits of solid image, I like to um, be able to get that really dark. So this allows me to do that. I'm going to stamp it again because as you can probably see, I'll lift that up for you. I'd like that a bit darker. So... I'm going to re-stamp that again, re-ink the stamps, sorry. And actually, because it's right on the corner there, I always forget to bring out my little, I've got an extra piece of uh, thin foam that I put, and that helps to bring that up, especially on here, so that the images can stamp better. So I make sure it's right in the corner, and then... Give that a good stamp. I think that stamped a lot better. So I'll re-stamp the images again. So I'm going to stamp the larger poppy image and the leaves. I'll do the leaves about three times in total. So I'll get rid of this stamp. Put that over there and I'll just reposition that here. Oops. And I'll get that as well. And I kind of will space them apart a little because I'm going to use the dies to cut them out. And I'll restamp again. This is something I've had in my head for a while and, and now that I'm not no longer a demonstrator this is going to be fun to do um, because it doesn't matter what I use anymore I'm a free agent and that excites me <laughs> I have to say. Just restamp that again especially for the middle part. Just concentrate on that middle part there. And that's stamped a lot better. And um, I'm going to take off that poppy stamp. Just wipe that off and dry it off a little. And then I'll go down again. And I'll link that up with Memento again. Okay, that's stamped really well. Okay. Now I will leave the Stamparatus out because I will use it again most probably. Um, but what I want to do is just get my card base, if I can find it, where did I put it, oh there it is right in front of me here, and I just want to grab one of these hexagon dies, and I just want to see which side I want to use, which size, because there's 15 of them, it's a really good uh, set to this one, and I quite like this, I quite like that hexagon size, or can I go a bit bigger, let's see. I think I'll go bigger and I'll use that size. So if you don't have these at home, that's cool. Just use whatever size, you know, size you like. Uh, and even whatever, you know, 
whatever um, shape you want to. And if you have like a silhouette or a cricket or something, use your files and cut one out. Um, you can't go wrong and you can make them any size you like. So I'm just going to grab my scrap piece of white cardstock here and I'm going to get my machine. And by the way guys, I think Spellbinders makes the um, Stampin' Up! machine, so it's really good quality, I'm really pleased with it. So I'm just going to cut that out. So I'll just use platform one, number two, a cutting pad, and then I'll use my... Cut this out. I just keep all of my scraps. It's a good way to save money, isn't it? <laughs> okay. So now my hexagon's been cut out. Love it. And what I'll do next is I will... Um, color these images and then I'll use the machine to cut them out. So I'll just put this away for the moment but I will bring it out again. Alright, so I'm going to cut this out. Oh, sorry, color these in. So I'm going to use my beloved Faber-Castell watercolour pencils. These can be used wet or dry techniques and I found a really cool technique where you can use your colourless uh, alcohol marker, so I'm using a Copic Zero colourless blender to uh, colour these images and to kind of um, smooth out the strokes. So you can do it that way, you can do it with water, whatever you want. I'm going to put this away so I don't misplace this die. Um, and it's really flexible so you know I suggest you know do what makes you feel comfortable buy what makes you feel comfortable and what you can afford and I'm a big believer of using what you have so that's what my videos are about use what you have enjoy your stuff <laughs> they cost a fortune so why not doesn't matter if they're retired or not as long as you like them that's the main thing so I'm going to lower you down And with the leaf images, just please excuse any noise you're hearing in the background. We've got a lot of construction going on at the moment still. They're sawing something. I don't know. They're making a lot of noise. So, sorry about that. So, uh, I'm just going to colour with a green, very similar to, um, let's say, Pear Pizzazz Stampin' Up. Still think of in terms of their colours, which is um, kind of cool. <laughs> But uh, once I can afford a few more supplies, then I'll buy something, you know, small from elsewhere, I think, for a while. Because I'm really happy with the, the stash that I have from Stampin' Up. I'm not interested in buying anything else at this stage. So I'm just colouring in very roughly the image there with my base colour. Then I'm going to bring out, oops, wrong tip, smaller tip here, just to make sure I don't have anything else on there and I'll just smooth out the strokes. If you can see that, it smooths it out. And I love you can use just regular cardstock. You don't need to use any fancy watercolor paper or anything else. You can just use your you know, regular cardstock. It's so beautiful and it really blends out the strokes nicely. Looks like you've colored it with watercolor, uh, sorry, alcohol markers, which is so cool. So I'm going to get my next darker colour and I'm going to make that very similar to say Garden Green of Stampin' Up. So I'm just going to just kind of add some colour on the vines of the leaf. leaves. <laughs> and then they're going to get blended out. And maybe a little bit along the edges, just very slight. 
because I still want to be able to see both colors. I just color my way. I don't know how, you know, everyone else wants to do it, but I'll just do it this way. So again, I'll just grab my blender here and I'll just kind of just blend it out. And you can still see both colors. And I also take off colour from my marker and then I'll do this one. coloring the poppies <laughs> so I'll just um, zoom you out okay so I think they turned out really cool I like them okay so what I'll do next is I'm going to grab my stamp the dictionary stamp and I'm going to just put it on the table that doesn't need to be on anything really and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a test stamp with some basic grain. And I just want to see how this looks. So I'm just going to stamp it onto this just for a moment. Oh, I like that. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp this. Again, and ink it up, sorry, with some um, basic grey ink from Stampin' Up. Okay, slowly, slowly, I'm going to start investing in some Tim Holtz, I think, inks. They look like they're a lot of fun to play with. So I've just inked this up now in basic grey ink. I'm going to grab my hexagon, and I'm just going to place it right in the middle there. 
and with my piece of paper I'm going to just rub my hands over it okay doesn't have to be overly precise but you know and that's how that looks I think that's gonna look gorgeous together so I'll just clean that up whoops just give this a clean I like to always clean my stamps otherwise sometimes I forget and then when I go to use them I contaminate my ink pads and I don't want to do that because they're an investment as well so you don't want to wreck things okay so that's done it's all finished there and with this I'm going to grab that splatter I love that splatter and I'm going to get a um, a block so I can put that on and I'll put that away for a second okay I'll get that block Now this is from the old style stamp so I've got to give it a bit of pressure so it stays on and I've got a, a piece of um, cling, cling film, I forgot what it's called. Anywho, I've always got some on my stamps in case they don't stick properly and then this makes these old stamps stick well. So with my hexagon they're all stamped, what I'm going to do is grab some memento ink and I think these splatters are absolutely perfect and I'll just ink that up. And I'm just going to do a splatter like that. So it's kind of going a bit um, vintagey. And then I'm going to grab my, where is my card base? There it is. So I've got my card base here. And I'm just going to place it where I think I'm going to have the hexagon right there. And I'm going to ink this up again. And I'm kind of just going to add some splatter just here like that. So I've just put a splatter right there. It's just the right amount of splatter. I love it. And then I'm going to put this here like so. Maybe a little bit further up. And that's as far as I go with the splatter. So nice and just simple. Don't want to go overboard. <laughs> I hope this turns out well. Just, it was so much fun so far to just create with whatever on camera <laughs> um, you know in real life of course um, on my own I tend to do that anyway but also I tend to forget to use my old stuff so now because of um, things as they are I am now going to do this more often like this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the corresponding dies that match this and we're going to cut these out this was really cool Stampin' Up! included two of these so you can cut multiples at the same time I think that's really cool I like the way they did that so I'm just going to grab some painters tape I'm going to position um, all of my dies over the top of these stamped images use um, this one over here so I'll just grab the vellum and I'll cut that out there it is And now I think I am done with the machine, unless I change my mind, but I'm doing this on the fly. 
this cuts out beautifully every time. Look at that. Gorgeous. All right. So I'll bring my card base over. And I'll just put all of my um, dies away because I know that I will lose them if I don't. Away. Okay, so now what I've decided to do is I'm going to glue this down. I'm going to use my good old PVA glue. Everyone asks me about this uh, glue. Um, I find this at Spotlight or at Lincraft. Um, I think they both use the same manufacturer. And um, it's really inexpensive and it lasts a really, really long time. Now, just upon looking at this, and I've just put glue on, which is very silly of me, but I just feel that it needs to be um, inked on the sides. So uh, what I'll do is grab one of my small makeup brushes and I'm just going to do a quick ink with the memento just around the sides there. And I think that looks a lot better inked up. And I'll just give that a bit of a wipe. Okay, and I'll pick that up. And I'll put some glue again because it's kind of dried off a little. And I'll bring that over and I think now that looks much better so it's kind of got like a vintagey feel to it so I've got my little uh, I'll put this further up there to kind of give that a bit more color up the top there and then I'll just grab my images And then I'm going to just add that further down, I think, because I do want to see the splatters as well. Oh, I think that looks beautiful. So I'll stick this all down. <laughs> So I'll just grab my glue here and I'll just put a little bit of glue down the bottom. And I'll put a bit of glue um, down the bottom of these two. I'll stick this down. I'll just use just the in the middle of this little cluster of flowers here. And I'll just put that. See, I've put the glue just in the middle. And so what this allows me to do as well is I'm going to put this towards the bottom of the hexagon. Um, what this allows me to do as well is it allows me to um, tuck things underneath. So for this, for example, I'm just going to put glue just along the stem and a little bit up here just to allow that to stick down like that and then I'm going to add one of the leaves so I'll just use the bottom that way it sticks directly down like 
that. This one can go like that a little. Yep, down the bottom here. Just put a little bit down the bottom here. Oops. As you can see, we can just tuck it underneath there. That looks so beautiful. And then I'll just put that underneath here. So again, I'll just use the glue underneath there. Okay. And that's my finished card for today. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to um, leave me a comment below this video. And um, I hope you enjoyed my, you know, take on, you know, combining old with new. I think splatters you can even do without a stamp set, but I think it's so cute. I love the way that turned out and I love the hexagon with this and also the dictionary, um, the dictionary stamp set. If you have something similar with like scripts on it or something like this, I suggest pull it out and combine with uh, newer sets with, from Stampin' Up! or from elsewhere. It doesn't matter. Painted Poppy is really cute. And um, these hexagon dies, I'm so glad I bought them. I think they were $39.99 years ago. And I got them for half price for 20 bucks. So I couldn't resist and I love using them when I get the chance. So I hope you enjoyed it today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this format. Um, if you have any requests as well for any stamp sets you'd like to see me use, um, whether it's new or even like older ones, um, let me know. Um, it'll be like a little challenge for me to, uh, if I have them, that is. So providing I have them, if I don't have them and I have something similar, then I might use that. So let me know. Uh, let me know in your comments and um, please share, like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll appreciate that immensely and I hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching and I hope this has given you inspiration to use what you have. So important, use what you have. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon. Bye.